Hi, I'm James Gill, and this is video number two in our Smart Notebook series. Today we're going to be talking about object layering and properties. We're going to drag some objects onto a page, we're going to create layers of them, we're going to change the transparency of some of these objects, and we're going to lock some of, them ob some of these objects in place. Let's take a look at an example I've already made. So this is a page about frogs. How are frogs born? They come from eggs in the water, hatch from eggs in a nest in trees, the stork brings them and then eats them, or do they just come from Costco? Notice the little lock icon here. I cannot move this block of text. I've also got a frog on this page, can't move him, and I've got this great background of a uh, aquatic environment, and it's also locked in place, and I've faded it so it's a little more transparent because I really want people paying attention to the picture of the frog. So let's take a look at how I did this. Here's a picture of a card table. I'm just going to reset the cards and show you what happens when you drag objects onto this uh, background template. So I've gathered some cards from the gallery by doing a search for cards. And then I've selected some cards and I've saved them by dragging them into this attachments page right here. And then I'll just drop it in place. So let's drag out some of these card items, like this ace of diamonds, or sorry, ace of clubs, a two of diamonds, and the three of spades. Now, unlike regular cards on a physical card table, just by moving them around, you cannot change the order of them, you cannot shuffle them. So what do you need to do? You need to play with the ordering using the menus. So let's say I wanted this two to come one step forward. So I can click on the drop-down menu, click on order, and then click on bring forward. I'm not saying bring to front, uh, I'm just going to bring it one step forward, so it'll go in front of the three. There we go. Now, no matter where I move the two, the 2 is always ahead of the ace and the 3. Let's see if I wanted to bring this ace all the way forward to the front. I can click on forward and say bring to front. And now it's the absolute front no matter how many objects are on the page. If I want to send it to the very very back and make it the last object, I can click on it and choose order, send to back. And now it's the, abs the card that's at the absolute back. Let me just reset this by putting the 3 order, and I'm going to say bring to front. So now we've got it again, ace, two, three, in the correct order. And that's just using the drop down menu and ordering. Now let's play with some object transparency and locking objects in place. I've created this background here, I'm going to do a little farm scene. So I'm going to drag out this picture of a hen, and I could resize the hen with the resize handle. I could rotate the hand with rotate handle, but I think it's in a pretty good spot right about there. Now let's drag out our next animal, which is going to be this rabbit. Click, drag, drop, right there. And we're going to need the picture of the farm. So I found a picture of a farm with a great hay bale in it. I'm just going to drag that here, and I'm going to resize it and just sort of stretch it so it fills the page right there. Now I've lost all my animals, so I'm going to need to send this farm to the very back by going order and saying send to back. I'm going to grab this hand, move the hand up here, move the farm right about there, and I'm going to grab this rabbit and move the rabbit down here. I think I'm going to make them a little smaller. And now it's time to start playing with transparency. So what I'm going to do is click on the background, and then I'm going to click on the properties tab. I'm going to move it to clicks in the fill effects objects transparency slider and now people are going to be just sort of viewing the farm as a background click on the rabbit and then click on the properties tab again under fill effects just go one two clicks so fill effects we're not going to worry about animation or page recording today we're only going to look at fill effects when it comes to transparency and I'm pretty satisfied with that so now what I'm going to do I'm going to right click uh, the background and choose lock in place. So now can't move the background. I'm going to move this uh, rabbit into a position there and I'm going to choose the drop down menu. You could either access this by either saying uh, hitting the drop down menu or by clicking on the uh, right click mouse button. Lock in place. And I'm pretty satisfied with the hand there. Drop down menu, locking, lock in place. Now I'm going to put some text on this page. What kind of animals can you find on a farm? Question mark. And then I'm going to 
lock this text in place too because I don't want them moving my text around. And so that's how you work with layers of objects, adjust their uh, transparency in the properties tab, and then lock them in place. If you want to do any further adjustments with any of these guys, remember you're going to have to unlock them first, otherwise you won't be able to move them or adjust their properties. I'm James Gill. Please tune in for more of our videos in the Smart Notebook series on the TLI resource site.